Hello and welcome to En La Sena. I'm Andrew Rosario. We're here at the Torno Time Machine in Manhattan, celebrating the fifth anniversary of Miracle on the Hudson. Now, if you remember, almost five years ago to the day, Flight 549 took off from LaGuardia Airport en route to North Carolina when it struck a flock of birds, killing both engines. Captain Sully Sullenberger had no choice but to land the plane on the Hudson River, saving all 155 passengers. Now, a watch called the Sullenberger is is commemorating that day. Talk with the man they call Captain Sully, as well as the creator of the watch, Jean Richard, when we return. Bruno is the man from Jean Richard and help commemorating tonight's event. Congratulations on tonight. Thank you. I don't know if I'm the man because actually the man is Captain Sally, not me. Do you remember where you were the day that that plane landed on the Hudson? Yeah, I do remember because I was in a very small company in Switzerland in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And, uh, and we heard the news about uh, what was happening in, in New York and, uh, and I still have uh, a lot of emotions thinking about uh, that day. How did you decide that you wanted to choose him as the person to represent this watch? But we started to work with Captain Sally uh, more than a year ago. We were looking for personalities which were representing uh, the best of the values of uh, Jean Richard. We, we are looking for people that are ordinary people doing extraordinary things and we thought that Captain Sally was going to fit perfectly with those kind of things. And people that are living their passion to the extreme. As you know, Captain Sally was working uh, for the entire career in uh, improving the safety of aviation. Right. So that's why we uh, I, we thought that that was uh, the per perfect piece for uh, our brand and uh, Captain Sally. Do you call Captain Sully? Captain Sully Sullenberger, congratulations on tonight's honor. Well, thank you. It's great to be here with you. Now, let's just backtrack just a little bit. Five years ago today, when you finally took off from LaGuardia and you had that whole adventure, what was that like for you? It was start after almost 30 years of routine airline flying, 42 years altogether, 20,000 hours in the air, where we worked so hard to plan and anticipate and never be surprised by anything in an airplane, we were suddenly confronted with the challenge of a lifetime and a novel one that we had never specifically trained for. So we had, as it turned out, a little less than three and a half minutes, 208 seconds to solve this problem we'd never seen before. And not only yourself, but your crew stepped up in a big way as well. Well. And not only my crew, but all the first responders, and certainly New York Waterway, whose ferries rescued us. Their first vessel was there within four minutes of us landing in the river. That was essential, especially on such a cold, cold day. Now, talk about how that's changed your life, because prior to that, aside from your family and friends, no one knew who you were. And I, all of a sudden, you're on the front page of I, every... I went from complete anonymity <laughs> to worldwide recognition in a matter of minutes. And it was... It changed our lives for me and my family instantly completely and if not forever for a long time you got the watch what do you like about it the most well it's such an obvious good fit with the Jean Richard this partnership I, I like their idea of the philosophies of life uh, the philosophy of life and I, this this particular watch is a, a special limited edition of the watch that commemorates that 208 seconds and so I like what they've done they in a very elegant and intuitive way they have a graphical way of representing those three minutes and 28 seconds with three concentric white bands that represent the first minute, the second minute, the third minute of that flight, and then finally a red arc from the 12 o'clock position down to the 28th second. Uh, so it, it's uh, it's a very special personal item that I, I'll, I'll treasure for a long time because it represents such joy and such gratitude. And it matches your suit as well. It, it matches my suit as well. The proceeds from this watch are going to your favorite organizations. Talk about those two. Well, the first one is such an obvious good choice because it's the American Reds came ashore on the New York and the New Jersey side of the river that day. It was the American Cross who was there to provide blankets and, and other things that we needed right. to warm us on a day when the air was 21 and the water was about 38 and many people had gotten wet. And the other charity that I chose is the Rory Staunton Foundation. Rory Staunton was a 12-year-old boy in New York who died 
of sepsis, a bloodstream infection, okay. and that was a preventable medical error, a preventable medical accident, because he didn't receive in time the diagnosis and the treatment that would have saved his life. My connection to Rory is that he loved the idea of becoming a pilot. He had read my first book, Highest Duty, and so when I learned of that, I contacted the family, and I wanted to help them in, in however I could, and they have created a Rory Staunton Foundation to educate the public about the dangers of sepsis that still claim too many lives in this country. About the philosophy of Jean Richard, what does that mean? But philosophy of life is looking at life in a different uh, way, taking a step back, living the life to the fullest, so enjoying all the, the good of life and making sure that we, we can still take advantage of the time that we are living. Aeroscope 208 seconds watch, designed specifically for Captain Sully Sullenberger, commemorates the 208 seconds it took for him, his crew, and New York City's first responders to make sure 155 passengers got home safe. For En La Sena, I'm Andrew Rosario.